eco-sensitive tourism tackles the issue of sustaining an environmentally and culturally responsible tourism and focuses on experiencing natural areas in ways that result in its understanding and appreciation. Just on the outskirts of Manali town, there lies Hamta, which is one of the most visited trekking destinations in India. It lies near a heritage village, Prini, which is also known as the late Prime Minister, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee's village. Hamta is one of the most pristine sites of Himachal Pradesh, which is located in Manali of District Kullu, Himachal Pradesh. Hamta Pass starts from Manali to Jopra, which is the base camp of Hamta, by following the landmarks of Prini, Satan and Mandurulba on the way. There are some numerous notable mammals found in the Indar Kela National Park, such as Goral, the Himalayan Black Bear, the Himalayan Brown Bear, Himalayan Red Fox and Musk Deer. The Himachal Pradesh Forest Department has been attempting to engage the communities in conservation of the area by providing livelihood opportunities to them. Hamta presents a classic case of very high footfall in the name of ecotourism. So this was the first case when we came up with this idea of ecological sensitive tourism in which community runs the show instead of acting as a mule jockeys, cooks or as a drivers. And they do this in a very participatory mode with the forest department and ensure that ecological regeneration happens on these sites and regulations are observed. GIZ, in collaboration with the Himachal Pradesh Forest Department, is implementing the Himachal Pradesh Forest Ecosystem Services Project since 2016. This project is funded by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, or BMZ. When the project approached the site, there was no need of upscaling the eco-sensitive tourism potential. It already had high camping pressure and unsustainable trekking footfall. Most of the young adults were either migrated to cities or engaged in small-scale income generation activities. Most houses were also leased out as hotels to outside traders and trekking trade business also had less local level ownership. Permanent trekking camps led to degradation of the site with poor regeneration. In a nutshell, it was a case of tourism exploitation without an ecologically sensitive tourism. There are some major activities that the project is focusing on strengthening the capacities of local communities such as managing and operating homestays, acknowledging women as the core workforce for eco-sensitive tourism, specific trainings like homestays and cooking with local customs, ethnic food prepared using local agriculture diversity and hospitality at its core were organized. give specialized training so that they can make maximum benefit of their places. They can also encourage more tourists coming in. They can get involvement in the tourist activity as well as the tourists who are coming are actually, they feel good, they feel hospitable. This training se kaafi cheeze nai seekhne ko mili hai, kaise hume जो है अपने गेस्ट को वेलकम करना है रिसीव करना है कैसे हमें उनके साथ ट्रीट करना है जैसे मतलब ज्यादा उनके साथ गुस्से से बात भी नहीं करनी है अच्छे से बात करनी है फ्रेंडली रहना है The project is strengthening the capacities of local communities to establish cross-cultural and traditional experiences by managing homestays sustainably along with relishing local cuisines जैसे फूड को प्रेजेंट कैसे करना है, जो फूड है कैसे बनाते हैं, जैसे चाइनीज कैसे बनाते हैं, वो हमने सीखा। 
trekking and camping are one of the most important tourism activities of the place. The major treks of the place are the Hamta Pass Trek, Kansar Thatch Trek, Marasu Thatch Trek, Hanasu Thatch Trek, Hamta Circle Trek, Indar Kila Base Camp Trek, Diotibba Base Camp Trek and Fakunda Peak Trek. Nurtured by centuries of tradition, the people of Hamta celebrate and host some local fairs and festivals to honor the local deity of the place. Traditional food is a significant attraction for rural travel destinations. Local food is a fundamental component of a destination's attributes, adding to the range of attractions and the overall tourist experience. We were fortunate enough to get to try ziplining. So, what did you think of it? Driving, off-roading through the mountains, but I was ziplining and that's like feeling the wind in a whole different way. It was just amazing. <laughs>